Hendry County, Florida. A desperate call for assistance reaches Deputy Sheriff Steve Whitten. The officer in this unmarked cruiser has his hands full with a car thief in a Cadillac. The last thing the crook wants is two units following him, so he's anxious to lose his new shadow. Okay, he's not stopping it. I'm gonna have to force him off before he hits somebody. Deputy Whitten pulls alongside the culprit, trying to sandwich him to a stop. But it seems the criminal knows this trick, and he has one of his own. He takes a hard left onto a side road, attempting to ditch the front unit. But both officers stay in the chase. They know that if one of them falls out, the odds are once again in the criminal's favor. The reckless outlaw heads down a back road over rough terrain. The officers slog through the mess, desperate to keep pace. Then, they appear to get a break. The suspect's rear tire blows, but instead of slowing him down, he only gets wilder. He sends his wounded caddy skidding through a service station. Be careful, he's driving crazy. Hoping that the suspect's deflating tire will give them an edge, the officers attempt to box him in again. But the undaunted Desperado responds with another quick turn off the road. Again, both officers stick to him, following closely as he does a 180 in a field and speeds back onto the road. The unmarked unit blocks the exit, but the suspect won't be stopped that easily. The wily crook finds another way out and steers his stolen luxury ride toward a major highway. If there were ever a place to ditch his pursuers, that would be it. Give me some backup. I'm gonna need some tail to get him off the road. Sure enough, he no sooner reaches the highway than he has a near miss with another vehicle. It's time to move in before an innocent bystander gets caught in the crossfire. This time, the unmarked car takes the lead. And suddenly, the perpetrator sees the moment he's been waiting for. He fails off the road, leaving the undercover cop in the dust and Deputy Witten alone to apprehend him. Now he has the decided advantage. Any minor slip-up by the deputy, and this car thief is home free. Get up, boys. Get up now. But suddenly, his bold charge backfires. His busted rear tire loses traction, sending him careening into a tree. He tries to bail, but Witten cuts him off, hard. With nowhere left to run, this fearless fugitive's flight has finally come to an end. Officers soon learn why the suspect ran so hard. He was wanted for eight burglaries. But for all his attempts to divide and conquer his pursuers... Give me some backup. I don't need to tell. Get him off the road. In the end, one cop was all that was needed. To send him to jail.